Located in the Veneto region of northeast Italy, Cortina d'Ampezzo is one of the most famous ski resorts in the world. Cortina d'Ampezzo hosted the 1956 Olympics, and since then it was known as the most glamorous ski resort in Italy. The Ford company even named a car after it in the 70s. Cortina made a Bond movie in the 80s and will host the 2026 Winter Olympics. We had great expectations when we came there 10 years ago. We found an old resort with three unconnected small ski areas and very old ski lifts. The views were amazing, but the infrastructure and the discontinuity of the area gave us a big disappointment. But when we came back in 2022, we discovered a rebirth of Cortina. The fact that Cortina will host the 2026 Winter Olympics and the amazing developments that took place here during COVID years are the reasons. If you want to see these new developments and get essential knowledge or recommended ski runs and other great tips on Cortina before booking your next ski holiday, you'll want to watch our review on Cortina. The ski area of Cortina is 120 kilometers of slopes. It used to be divided into three different ski areas, Tofana, Cinque Torre Palzarego and Feloria Cristallo. Since the opening of the Skyline Gondola, Tofana and Cinque Torre areas are connected. The altitude is spread between 2,830 meters and the town level at 1,217 meters. Four cable cars, two gondolas, 19 chairlifts and two T-bars. A total of 27 lifts serve the skiers. 45 kilometers of easy blue runs, 38%. 59 kilometers of intermediate red runs, 49% and 16 kilometers of difficult black runs, 13%, make up the 121 kilometers of runs. From the Tofana area, you have valley runs to the village, but from the Folaria area, you will need to ride down the Folaria cable car. Cortina has an average annual snowfall of around 2.5 meters, but 95% of the runs are covered by snow cannons. The ski season here every year is from the end of November to the end of April. Six days of adult ski pass in the high season is 347 euros. For advanced skiers, we recommend adding 26 euros and extending it to the Dolmiti Super Ski Pass. Recommended runs Tofana Olympia Stratofana Run It was the 1956 Olympics run and will be in the 26 Winter Olympics as well as the Women's Alpine Ski Run in the Audi World Cup circuit. One of the most famous in Europe and maybe the most beautiful in the World Cup circuit. The most iconic part is the Schoss, 35 black on the map. It is the steepest ski run from all the Don Mitty Superski, 1,220 kilometers of slopes. Then it continues with the 35 red. This run was hosting the Women's Downhill World Cup more than a hundred times, more than any other. All the runs from the top of lift 22 on the shoulder of Tofana Mountain are good. Another recommended run is 51 Black, Forcella Rosa, the longest black slope in Cortina and our favorite. It curved between the Dolomite Towers with a panoramic view of Ampezzo Valley. Cinque Torri area. An amazing red run is Lagazoi run, number two on the ski map. Three kilometers curved red run between the cliffs with spectacular views of the Cinque Torri area. It is maybe the least crowded run in Cortina. You must do the Lagazoi tour. 
aka the Hidden Valley. Instead of taking the right turn on the fork at Lagazui Peak, take the left one. You will enter the Armentorola Slope, a 7.5 km red run, curving its way into the Hidden Valley, one of the most beautiful ski runs in the world, with frozen waterfalls around the way. For the last part, you will be towed by a local breed of horses for 5 euros. You will also pay another 7 euros for special shuttles from Hotel Armentorola to Faltsarigo Pass. The shuttles run all the time and take around 15 minutes drive. The Lagazoi Tour is part of the Super 8 Tour, which is a route in which you have breathtaking views of eight of the most famous peaks of the Dolomites. We recommend taking a break at the Rifugo Scoiattoli, which is near Cinque Torri, five towers in Italian. A nice run if you begin your day here is run 12. It will take you back to lift 4, the beginning part of the tour. Until 2021, you had to take a ski bus or drive with a car to get here and back to Cortina town. But now, the best development Cortina made the Skyline Gondola System is a panoramic gondola that connects Tofana area and Cortina town to the Five Torri area. For the people with the Dolmiti Super Ski Pass, you can actually leave Cortina with a gondola and arrive at Pozza di Fassa or Alpe de Susi, 43 km aerial distance from Cortina. You can do the Sella Ronda Circles, maybe the most famous circular tours in the ski world. In the Faloria area, we recommend Vitali Bassa, 62 Red. For beginners, we recommend 61 Blue, with panoramic views of Tofana and Cristallo Mountains. Cortina is quite a big place for a ski resort. The centre is Corso Italia a 600 meters long pedestrian area full of fashion designer shops, boutiques, outdoor and winter sports shops, cafes, restaurants and bars. There are several alleys crossing the main street. The impressive 66 meters bell tower in the middle of Corso Italia is the symbol of Cortina. Cortina is not the glitz dancing queen it used to be in the 60s and 70s. There are many places where you can find wines and other alcoholic drinks for the connoisseurs. If you are looking for a good vibe, you can begin your evening at the sports bar in Corso Italia. Pros and cons. Pros. Wide variety of ski runs for all levels of skiers. Spectacular views unique to Cortina. Nice center with a long pedestrian area with designer shops and dark galleries the Armentorola Hidden Valley Ski Run and the Horse Drag Experience. Good restaurants. The Skyline Gondola is a game changer. Cons. It is time to replace some of the old lifts in Cortina. Limited nightlife and apres ski parties compared to some other ski resorts. Limited public transportation options, so a car or private transportation may be necessary quite small ski area and separated into two unconnected ski areas. Before our scores and excellent tips, here is how to get to Cortina. The closest airport is Treviso with less than two hours drive to Cortina. The second closest airport is Venice Marco Polo Airport with a two hour drive. From the latter, you also have a 12 euro 50 direct bus to Cortina. Here are the scores for Cortina with the Dolmiti Super Ski Pass. Beginners 7. Intermediate 7.5 Advanced 8. Snowboarders 7. Freestylers 7. Free riders 6. Apres Ski 6. Nightlife 7. Resort Charm 8.5 Value for Money 7. Before the final score If you want to compare Cortina to other ski resorts, please visit our website.
www.skiresortsvideos.com forward slash comparison linked down below to use our comparison engine for an overview side by side and more information on the best ski resorts use the comment section below if you want us to review other ski resorts ski resorts video final score for cortina is 7.8 insider tips number one watch for your eyes only before you come here and find the locations of the scenes of the movie it can be a fun game It is also the last chance to see the 1956 Bob's track and the ski jumps ramp before they demolish it for the 2026 Olympics. 2. If you intend to buy the Dolmiti Super Ski Pass, we advise you to come with a car and drive to Alta Badia early in the morning on the days you do plan to do the Sella Ronda circuits or explore Val Gardena. For more information on that, check out our Val Gardena review in the top left here and Alta Badia on the top right. If you want to tell us about your Cortina experience or ask us to review another resort, please do so in the comments section below.